<laughs> All right, hello. Today we're gonna to be talking about the phylogenetic tree and I've chosen to try and teach my dog, Coco, about it. Um, he's a little amped up. As every great teacher knows, you have to use a medium in which your students will be interested. So I've chosen dog treats. So as you can see, we got milk bones up top, a little heart treat, um, a toothbrush on its own line, a few other miscellaneous treats, and then our outgroup down at the bottom, which happens to be Coco's favorite. So, a little bit about this. This is a rooted tree, so the distance between operational taxonic, taxonomic units, or OTUs, which are based on differences in DNA sequences. So our outgroup is a known OTU that diverged earlier than all the others which is what roots our tree. So you can see all the way down here to our outgroup. Again, Coco's favorite. And he's a little amped up right now. Moving on. Um, our outgroup is also the most recent common ancestor. Internal nodes um, represent common ancestors that existed before di divergence. So that right there, that right there, that right there, um, just everywhere there's divergence. So last little bit, the anagenesis or evolution within a single lineage over time. So like this could be considered anagenesis, um, where this would be cladogenesis. Same with up here, anagenesis, and then cladogenesis and cladogenesis. So, and then cladogenesis is the splitting of one lineage into two. So I hope you enjoyed this video as much as Coco is about to, because he's about to devour this phylogenetic tree. All right, come on, buddy. Come on. <laughs> just real quick, as Coco is cleaning up the crumbs of what he just did, I'd like to take a moment to mention that my references are the NCSU Genetics 311 slides by Dr. Halwig and Dr. Jones.